Hello, Rick Billings here. Hey, I want to show you uh, or you show you how you can quickly set up a SMTP outgoing email uh, connection. Okay, and so what that means is that ClickFunnels will send emails out through their system. Okay, but you have to use a service, an SMTP service, to be able to send that now. If you're not, you know, dealing with email all the time and stuff like that, it might be not uh, real familiar to you. But it's it's pretty straightforward to set it up. You'll go to accounts here, okay, and you'll go to SMPT set uh, SMTP settings right here, okay, and you and you should pick SendGrid, okay. Just trust me, okay. Here's the choices over here. You just click on SendGrid integration. You know, Amazon is good, but it's kind of complicated. Mandrel requires you to have an account there before you can use them. But, uh, and then you can set up your own if you have your own server, okay? But just SMP, uh, I mean, SendGrid allows you to send out 12,000 emails a month free, okay? So you're gonna click on that, it's gonna take you to SendGrid. You're gonna make a, a free account here. And you know, as you go in here, you can look at it, watch tutorials and stuff like that, but you just gotta make a free account. It'll give you a username and password. You're gonna plug that into to click funnels over here under the integration right here and it's going to as I click here it's going to ask you for username password it's going to tell you what to put in here smtp.syngrid.net the port is 587 and um, and so on okay so you'll put that information in there and then your system is connected there so when it sends an outgoing email it just sends it out sends it to SendGrid, it logs in, and uses this to send out emails. So you can see if I go to, um, let's see, activity for an example, it shows all the emails going out, people clicking on them, the delivery, and stuff like that, okay? So it just it shows everybody coming you know, through here and stuff like that. So that's pretty straightforward. So now you're back into your, your funnel. And here's what you can do, like Jove Skin, all of them are, work the same. You can go over here, and when you have somebody that fills out a form, for an example, like they're filling out a form on this page, on the Jove page right here, and it's going to have their name and email and uh, information right here. So let's say that you want to get that information sent to you, okay? You'll come over here on this form, and you'll hit Automation, the tab up here, and you'll hit Add an Action. Okay, when you add an action right here, it says, what do you want to do? Here's your action. You can add a person to a, a list that you have within ClickFunnels, which we'll go over later. You can remove them. When they fill it out, you can remove them from this list and add them to another one. So you can remove them from this list and add them to another one, which allows you to uh, get a little bit more sophisticated about how you send people through your, you know, your system. Or you can get an email notification. So we can do an email notification. Just type in email notification here. Everyone or people that saw this page or people that purchased. You have all these choices. Let's say everybody. And you could say people that saw this page uh, but didn't purchase. So you can then maybe send them to a route of having them go back to it versus a purchase. You can say thank you, okay? And then what email are you going to send it to? Send it to yourself. EricBillings.com, okay? And so I can just hit add and this is just the click funnels integration and the delay is just it's immediate okay so if you wanted to delay it i don't know why you would hear an email notification but if you want to delay it by days or hours you can do that this is really sophisticated and then create okay so there's an email notification everybody comes through i just set one up for when people purchase okay and i haven't set the other one up but you know i can do that and then so every time it comes up for an email notification and somebody goes to that page and completes it i'll get an email Okay, sent to my email saying somebody completed that. So it notifies me. I'm going to get rid of that for right now. So you can set that up um, on when somebody does the upsell. You can set that up when somebody does the inside out. So that way you're notified each time they buy it. Okay, each time somebody says, okay, you want to know, and that's what I have. Email notification, purchased inside out. So then I get notified when they purchase that, okay? So all the funnels that you have that would have a, <laughs> have that in there and if we look at a, um, a business funnel right here let's take a look at this one and we go into here and when somebody completes this form right here on this page right here when they complete that form they add their email and address in I come over here to automation and I get an email okay and then um, you know they're triggered to get 
Uh, let's see, I don't have that. I don't have that completed right there. Let me go back and uh, look at one of my other business funnels. Unlimited, let's look at unlimited compensation here. And when they fill this form out here on automation, I get an email notification here. Okay, and I add them to a a unlimited comp list. So I said add to a list. I want to target them on a list. And I'll show you how where that list is in a second here, okay? But then I start sending them emails, okay? So I'm integrated right here, and I'm using Actionetics here, okay? And that's the only way you would do this if you're using Actionetics right here, that it would integrate all these emails. Other than that, you'd use Aweber, and it would, it would go to Aweber. You can still get notified, and, 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 uh, but, uh, and so then it's going to send these emails out to these people. Okay, so when I go over here to Actionetics and I look at my contacts and I want to come over here and look at my list, I can look at my list and pull up, you know, for an example, you know, the RX Marketing webinar list that people are on. There's 161 people that um, have subscribed to this list, okay? So they get added to this list and so then I can broadcast out an email to a particular list. So I can send emails out and it'll tell me how many people opened it, how many people clicked on it. The last webinar I sent out, you know, 69 open, 35 clicked of the 140. So a lot of people don't even look at their emails sometimes. Okay. So anyway, that's how you set up the SMTP. It's really pretty slick. And so you'll wanna you'll wanna do that. Okay. Thank you.